We have skincare, hair, makeup. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am sharing with you guys a huge haul. I'm just super excited to be back filming for you guys. I am so sorry that it's taking me just about two months at this point when this video goes up to come back. So we are gonna go ahead and jump right in, but before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well as that post notification bell right next to it. It will notify you every time I upload a new video. Okay, enough babbling. With further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, I do want to just go ahead and apologize. Like, we are in the middle of Alberta. We are going through a tropical storm, I think, tropical depression, whatever it really is at this point. We are actually getting the outer bands of it. We're not in a direct path, but we are getting a lot of rain and a lot of, you know, wind from it. So if you guys can hear that noise or any generators, that's probably what that is outside. Jeez. That is a long piece of tape. Like, do you guys see that? That's ridiculous. This is actually something that I purchased from Ulta. I have actually tried this once before and I really didn't see what all the rave was about, but it blends out very nicely and it almost feels like a serum as it blends out. I've um, added this to my routine because I love the Bumble and Bumble uh, blow dry serum. So I do use that as well as the thickening cream and it just creates this um, beautiful flowy, natural hair look because I do like to wear my hair straight a lot of the time during the summer especially so I just think the combo is really great but this thickening cream is absolutely amazing it is by the brand living proof I'm not sure if I said that or not and it retails for I believe 27 or 28 dollars I picked up a mac fix plus and I've actually believe it or not have never tried mac fix plus before and I am super excited to test this out and see what all the rave is about because I mean let's be honest who doesn't use mac fix plus max mac fix plus on youtube i know it'll just make that makeup look go that one step extra further and it's just going to um make everything stand out when you do your eyeshadow and so i'm just i'm really excited to see what kind of looks i can create with using max fix plus and see what all the hype's about i recently picked up a, a lip liner by the brand heart and this is in later gram i'm excited to try out because i love colors like this but this is just super like creamy and I don't know if you guys can see that it's just super super I can probably do on the other hand this product is just super creamy and super like I don't know like you know how like you don't want to use certain lipsticks because you're afraid it's going to run uh, I think it's like mostly red lipsticks that people fear that um but I just feel like this is going to be one of those liners that I don't I don't know how it's gonna hold up I really don't but it's like seriously one little swipe and a little bit goes a long way it kind of feels like a lipstick in a pencil form but um I really do want a lip liner that's going to stay all day and I just I'm really hoping that this will be that kind of liner so another thing that I picked up from Tarte is the Park Avenue Princess uh contour palette or I believe they call it a chisel palette it smells like chocolate so it's absolutely divine and just look at this beautiful packaging it's got a rose gold backing. I don't want to blind you guys, but it does have a rose gold backing and the lettering here is in gold and it is rimmed in gold as well. My pink shade right here, this brightening shade, did actually come cracked, so I'm really afraid that I'm gonna have to go switch this out or something, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it happens. These two are going to be the lightening shades. You got a, a pink um, undertone shade as well as a yellow undertone shade. These are very creamy, by the way. I did swatch these when it came in as well. For the most part, they are all pretty much matte. This one does have more of a sheen to it as well as this one. So those two, I don't know if you guys can see that, they do have more of a sheen to them. Oh, you guys, I wanted this for so long and now that I finally have it, I cannot wait to share some tutorials with you guys using this. And I really hope that for those of you who have not uh, tested it out, even like in store that you can find a Sephora or an Ulta or any kind of um, place that sells Tarte Cosmetics near you. I hope you guys can come t uh, check this out because this is like the best palette I think I've ever tried from them. And I am just so in love. And these brightening shades, I have high hopes for. And I so, I, I so much hope that they live up to it. And I'm sure they will. So the next thing I'm going to mention is the noisiest of all products. And, but it is the best. And this is what I love to apply my self tanner with. I don't think I've actually mentioned this on my channel, but I do love using the uh, Loving Tan Two Hour Express in the color dark. It is by far my favorite tanner. I do for the most part have very fair skin. 
Um, when I get out in the sun and I actually get a, um, a tan going on, I do have more olive neutral undertones and Loving Tan actually does um, complement those with olive. It does have more of an olive base, so it does just complement at least my skin tone for the most part. So I love tanning with Loving Tan and I will link their site down below. No, I don't have any affiliations. I don't have any affiliations with anything, but I just have a feeling that someone one of these days is going to comment and it's just going to be a disaster. But I promise I don't have any affiliation, but I do want to help you guys out if you, in case you want to try it out. And and so I will link their site below, but this is by far the best mitt to apply it with. I, I've never actually tried their mitt specifically, but I do like the St. Tropez um, mitts. I, I've also heard of Vita Liber, Liberata, Liberata, yeah, uh, Vita Liberata, I heard their mitts are also really great, but I just, I've always used this and I think it, it applies really well. There's no streaks, no marks, no anything. It's very smooth, very clean, and I just, I will not be without this at all. So while um, Ulta was actually doing their Best of Beauty um, month, I think it was in April. So you guys, I've had this for quite some time because it's now like towards the end of May. But anyways, um, I did pick up some brow whizzes. They were super cheap, super discounted. So I was just all about it. I did pick up two because I think that was the limit. So I did pick up two in the shade Chocolate, which is my perfect shade. I know those of you who have tried the definer probably like that better, but I think the brow whizzes can get a little more precise and they're easier to knock out my brows within seconds. So I did pick up something else within that sale other than the brow whizzes and that was the Better Than Sex um, Too Faced Mascaras. Too Faced is the brand, Better Than Sex is the name of the mascara. But I did just pick up two of these because again, it was super discounted. They are by far probably my favorite high-end mascara that I've ever tried and so yeah. Super excited to have two, a backup and a current used. I also did just go ahead and pick up a Cover FX Power Play. So I do want to try to do a first impressions or a foundation um, review video uh, for this. It comes in this kind of packaging and I think this is super unique and innovative. Like I, I wish all foundations, to be honest, would come out like this. I don't want to pour it out, but it, I just think that's super cute and super cool. And um, I could see it being a super pain in the, you know what, towards the end of the bottle. But I think the process, the fact that it's plastic, it won't break or anything like that. I think it'll be great, especially if you travel. This will be a great foundation. I did swatch a little bit on the back of my hand to make sure it was a good color match. And I think it's actually a shade too light, side note. But it, I can definitely tell this is going to be a super... Um, full coverage foundation and I'm super excited to try it out because I do have combination skin for those who don't know and I just think that this will just go really well with a hydration primer underneath because it will be mattifying I can guarantee that if you guys are interested in seeing a uh, first impressions video or a foundation review video of this in particular let me know down in the comments um, or give this a video a thumbs up and just let me know that way um, and I'll totally do that for you guys so this next product I want to talk about I know people get so much crap for purchasing it, but I just for my own mind had to try it out and see what the hype was about. And as the typical name goes on YouTube, it's Bougie Cotton. It's by the brand Sh Shiseido, and it's facial cotton that doesn't tear apart when you apply liquid to it. So you can go to like Walmart or Target and buy the pack of cotton pads that as soon as you pl apply any kind of toner or um, any kind of really liquid skincare product too, it just, as you wipe it on your face, it will start to tear apart. This does not do that. It is a thicker cotton pad. And so I have noticed that it does work really well. And it, it, I feel like it's worth the money if you buy it on sale. I know that's kind of like a catch 22. Like you have to wait for those sales and all of that, but I would, I personally don't think it's worth the $10, but if you're paying, you know, like during a 20% off sale, you'll pay like $8 for it. Then I guess I can kind of justify because you're getting a little bit of discount. Um, I don't know. I, it's really up to preference. I think these are great. I will probably continue to repurchase them just because I like that they don't tear apart, but it's not a necessity if that makes any sense. So definitely like these. I would recommend them if you, you know, if that is something that does bother you, but it's not necessary. It's not a necessity. And... I mean, it's teach their own, but they are great. Then I did pick up this. This is the e.l.f. Pore Refining Brush and Mask Tool. So one end actually has a 
very stiff brush head and the other is a silicone tab base. I did end up picking one up for Mother's Day this year. So I did already pass it on to my mom. She's used hers, loves hers, and I just have now gotten mine and so it does have a silicone head here as well as a brush tip head here i don't know that i'll really use this end as much but i do look forward to using this silicone base head uh, to apply my mask uh, i think this will be a great um little tool to have and i mean for five dollars you cannot beat it so one of the final things that i picked up at ulta this is the morphe eye slay brush kit this is a six piece brush collection and case and so i did actually go ahead and pull mine apart um so whereas i didn't really use a lot of this stuff i did go ahead and pull like some things apart to like either swatch it or for this for instance i did go ahead and clean my brushes so that they were ready to use so first of all the bag is completely rose gold it's completely gorgeous like it's just super sleek super uh, shiny and pretty and classic now I did go ahead and take these brushes out there are six brushes in the set and so you do get a liner pencil it is bent if you guys can see that right there um, you do get a pencil brush you do get a flexible very um, it's not as stiff of a blending brush this is a stiffer blending brush right here it is a natural hair um, you do get a all over kind of like a shading brush and a definer brush that is a little bit smaller than your typical definer brush and I think it'll actually be really nice to use because it is very it's stiff but it's still flexible if that makes sense so I think this set is actually really nice I'm super excited to try it I also did get this for my mom for Mother's Day and again she's already tried it and she loves it and so I'm super excited to test them out myself I did get myself one because I mean you can't love makeup and just pass on a gift without trying it yourself I mean come on what kind of daughter would I be I'll definitely let you guys know what I think but I still really do love this pack uh, not packaging but this brush set or brush case Sorry, the rose gold is super pretty. As much as I hate pink, I really think this is a gorgeous color and case and super sleek. And one of the last things that I picked up at Sephora is my TLC Fram Framboose Glycolic Night Serum um, by Drunk Elephant. This is the most cool, like innovative, like pump system. I just, I love how the tops like twist up because um, I'm, I'm not sure how many people actually know this, but the more that the air um, hits your um, skincare products it does start breaking it down and the, the product itself isn't as powerful as it is brand new and so keeping it enclosed in a little package like this with just like a twist up top that you pump out um, it does keep it fresh longer and it does keep those um, ingredients working at its finest at its best and so I really do love this it is 12% AHA BHA blend for those who don't know and I think Drunk Elephant is a really great skincare line to um, to use I think they have a lot of great benefits but for those of you who do um, not use a glycolic serum at night it really just helps the skin's the skin cells renew itself uh, at a quicker pace and keeps your skin looking fresh and less dull um, you know the more you use it so I think it's a great product if you haven't tried so or tried this already do so it is honestly the best product it is pricier I believe this is $90 I could be wrong I think it's $90 though but it is a great product and I 110% stand behind it so real quick, I want to talk about the two products that I picked up at Premier Look online. I did try out two products from this brand already, and I really do love them. But oh my god, you guys, Sunita's. Sunita's skincare is honestly freaking amazing. Like, I cannot tell you guys, I'm absolutely in love. This is the B3 Clarifying Complex, which is a probiotic treatment. And then this is the Topical C, um daily moisturizer. I really do love the oil-free moisturizer from Sunita's. Um, I think it's one of the one of the best moisturizers I've tried. Not the best, but one of the best. And it is something that I think I will keep around for quite some time. Um, and I've also, I also have the brightening solution. So I'll just take like my cotton pad and I'll use it like as a toner before bed. 
um, but I absolutely love those two products. So I, when I saw these online and she was running a sale, I just, I had to pick them up. I'm absolutely um, excited to try out this, um, these two products and tell you guys what my thoughts, because I think Sunita's honestly, all the products that I've tried from them so far have been absolutely phenomenal and I just cannot wait to see how these work out in my collection. So that is all the products I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys enjoy haul videos like I do. I think they're one of my favorite videos to film or at least to even watch. Um, so I was really excited to share this with you guys. If you haven't done so already go ahead and click that subscribe button down below as well as that post notification bell that sits right next to it. I would love for you guys to be notified every time I upload a video and to hear your thoughts on them and I do have a lot of videos coming for you guys so do keep that in mind and I will try to get more on a schedule I've actually thought about this a lot lately and so I don't want to say what the schedule will be quite yet just because in case I can't stick to it right away I don't want any backlash or anything like that so I am going to try and upload a couple times a week um, but let me know your thoughts let me know what days you would prefer me to upload on I would really love to hear that and if you guys haven't already check out my Instagram I will of course leave a link below I've posted some makeup looks and pictures and I would love to hear your thoughts on those photos as well and until next time I will see you later Mwah! bye guys